Hello and welcome to Beyond American Shores, where Japanese toys are seen heard. I like trains. Anyways. I'm okay. Trains are a fascinating mode of transportation, aren't they? From steam to diesel, it is a simpler way of getting from point A to point B. In Toku, there have been more trains than ever, especially with a Sentai series revolving around it. That series being the 2014 Super Sentai series? Russia Sentai Tokyuger. To be honest, I thought Tokyuger was a great series. It was wacky, fun, and at the same time, it felt like a complete story of a few childhood friends trying to find their way home by train. All aboard! Today I'll be taking a look at the main robot of this series, as I have... The Deluxe Tokyo from Russia Sentai Tokyuger. Let's start with the packaging. This version of Tokyo was included in a set with the deluxe Tokyo changer, so it will be different without the changer. On the front of the box, we see Tokyo, the five Russias, and the Tokyo changer, with the team and logo on the flap. On one side, we have all the five Russias inside the Tokyo changer. On the other side, we have all five Russias turning into Tokyo. And on the back, it shows how both Tokyo and the Tokyo changer work. Here we have the five Russias that make up Tokyo. Each Russia is based around a different kind of train. First is the Red Russia, the main Russia for Tokyo Ichigo, or Tokyo 1. It is based around a steam train, and it's the longest of the five, by an inch, compared to the blue and green Russias. The Blue Russia, the main Russia of Tokyo Nigo, or Tokyo 2, which is based around a bullet train. The Yellow Russia, the main Russia of Tokyo Songo, or Tokyo 3, which is based around a subway train. The Green Russia, the Russia of Tokyo Yongo, or Tokyo 4, much like the Blue Russia is based on a bullet train, except the front and back are different, but look somewhat identical. And finally we have the Pink Russia, the Russia of Tokyo Gogo, or Tokyo 5, which is a subway car similar to the Yellow Russia, except for the color and the front. The molded detail looks pretty good, even though it is only a few colors, which are gray, black with white paint, a tiny bit of yellow for the front, and the primary color of the Tokyo Uger. Each one does have wheels underneath. The Red Russia rolls okay, but when the front is separated, it rolls good, and also when it's attached to the hole underneath the main connector. The others actually roll pretty well and can go far. You can take the front part off each Russia, as they can be used with the deluxe weapons and roleplay toys. I won't be showing it in this video, but not to worry. I have a video with the Tokyo Changer that will go along with this video. They can also be swapped with the other Russia as they have the same connector ports. For example, I can put the red Russia head on the blue Russia body. Also, you can connect all the Russias to make a pretty long train. How long? Well, let me show you. It reaches about 1.2 meters. That's pretty long and it looks so cool. Just imagine how long it would be with more. Now it's time to combine. First, connect the blue and green Russias on both sides of the red Russia and slide them forward. Next, open up the connector ports of the yellow and pink Russias and attach them to the blue and green Russias. Next, fold up the feet and open the legs. Twist the arms and fold down the back of the blue and green Russias. Next, pull the front of the red Russia up and fold it down. And pull back the back. Finally, pull out the head and open it up. Here we have Tokyo, the first primary train mecha since many of the train mecha throughout the franchise were secondary. To be honest, I think the toy version of this mecha looks okay. It has the right amount of detail to it. Even the head looks pretty good, though the proportions look kind of weird on it. The body looks more like a cube. Then again, we just had a series that revolved around cube animals. But other than that, it looks fine. It does have some articulation, its arms can rotate 360 degrees, and the hands can rotate 360 degrees. 
It's not too much, though Bandai did make some items that can increase the articulation of the arms with the Super Sentai Artisan Rainbow Line Set, which is pretty hard to find. It comes with its main weapon, the Fumi Kitty Ketten, or the Railway Crossing Sword, which looks an awful lot like the Kan Kan Bar from Engine Sentai Gowander. It has two modes, which are a gun mode and a sword mode, and it can also be attached to the Red Russia when it's not combined. This toy is actually pretty fun! While I think the combined form looks okay, I had a lot of fun playing with the many Reshas and lining them up. It was a pretty cool gimmick! Final verdict on the Deluxe Tokyo. I give it a pretty good! Well, that's it for today's episode of Beyond American Shores. I'm the Tokyo Tour Reviewer, and I'll see you next time. Reviewer out!